Hello, good morning. It's a foggy old Friday the 18th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. Uh, so as expected, the MPC voted to raise interest rates by quarter of a percent. It wasn't quite unanimous. Uh, the vote was 8-1 this month and it was uh, the one was Sir John Cunliffe. He's the Bank of England's Deputy Governor for Financial Stability. Um, last month, the bank published their economic forecast where they predicted inflation would peak at 7.25% next month. What a difference a month makes, though. Um, that peak forecast has already been raised to 8%, uh, while market expectations, which are produced much more frequently um, and in much less of an official capacity, have now reached 10%. Um, Governor Bailey was on after the decision, as always. In his press conference, he blamed higher energy prices for the rise in inflationary expectations. Uh, inflation hit 5.6% in February and is forecast at 6 or 6.5% this month. And Bailey believes any continued increase will largely be uh, dependent on energy prices. Um, as such, market expectations for a fourth consecutive rate hike are already growing as a negotiated settlement in Ukraine still looks pretty unlikely. Um, in the market, Sterling initially reacted pretty poorly to the news. Um, we dropped from around, uh, around 132 against the dollar to just under 131 uh, before recovering a little later in the day. Uh, to around 130.50, which is where we opened this morning. Uh, and it was a similar story against the euro too, dropping from around 119.50 to 118.30 before drifting back towards 118.70, where we opened this morning. Um, over in the US, uh, the rate hike appears to have been accompanied by continuing economic improvements. Uh, that is, apart from the automotive sector, um, output there has fallen uh, by about 30% year to date and will remain an issue as the chip shortage continues. Really struggling in that sector. Um, Powell suggested that nothing is off the table as their, their efforts to control prices really begin in earnest. Um, he is concerned that rate hikes alone may not bring inflation under control uh, and he fears that inflation, headline inflation will hit 10% next month. Fact of the matter is inflation is probably already at that level. Um, but hey, we'll see how the data catches that up. Uh, Goldman Sachs has been on. Uh, they issued a warning about recession in the US and in Europe. Um, they raised concerns of stagflation, our good old friend, fearing that falling activity with rising inflation could already be a factor. And you know Goldman's, they're a smart bunch over there. Maybe there's... Uh, well, no smoke without fire, as they say, right? Uh, in the market, the, the dollar index continued its retreat yesterday. Uh, it fell for the third consecutive day. We reached a low of 97.70. And euro dollar, uh, well, that opens this morning just shy of the 111 mark. And that's it, capping off another week. Hope you have a great weekend ahead and do join me again on Monday. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.